connected. Cool. I'm going to add my typical video in here. Just a little thing saying, hey, be nice and don't be a dick, essentially. So I, for those of you that wanted me to, if I could please stop thing. For the few of you, even though no one's joined yet, I'm just stating this obvious so I can post it somewhere else. I'm doing this live stream on Instagram and once it's over, I'm going to save it to my phone and then post it on YouTube for those that missed it. So, so until then, I actually was attending this to be like a squishy review video, but I went to Walmart, got my stuff, left, and then I went to another store after that and ended up getting another squishy and more like Myrmacorno Unicorno blind boxes that are actual Toki Doki Myrmacornos and not the Neon Stars. One of the Neon Stars fell over. Because this is the set I got from Toys R Us. It's Sam, Hannah, Celeste, and Dolly. And I like Dolly, but... Now we're just going to wait for someone to join, so it's going to be awkward, like, five minutes. I wish I could check my phone or something, but I'm using my phone to talk to you guys, so haha. -ha. I was told that the neon stars are a little bit smaller than the normal Tokidokis, but I kind of figured that, just because box size. Like, one box is only, like, two inch by two inch, like, inch and a half, inch and a half, and then the other one is, like, uh, I'll get the bag in a minute. The other bag is, like, four. Yeah. Now we wait for someone to join, so I'll probably put in a timestamp or something that says skip to this point in time when someone actually joins, but whatever. Also, all my, my hair looks horrible because the coloring all came out, so. And now we wait. I love how, like, all these people are like, I'm going to join your live stream, and then, like, last minute, I'm like, okay, you're doing it, like, four hours earlier than intended. Because I forgot that I do a thing on Thursdays. I don't know how I forgot about it, but I forgot about it, so. Life happens. I'm not going to spend my whole entire life here online, so. Oh, well. I have this, like, little rim here. Or, like, shadow here for my glasses. And it looks really weird. It makes me look like I have weird, like, cheek hair. And I don't have cheek hair. There's nothing there. Yay, someone joined. Woo! Someone finally joined. I'm sitting here talking to the camera for like five minutes and I don't know what to do now, so yay, someone joined. I can actually start this and then post it on YouTube later. I tried. I got like the first four of these at Walmart on sale after the Christmas sale, so bargaining skills. A lot of them were unfortunately opened and they had really slim pickings, so I got one of each and there was only like four left. This one's one of like the more firm ones. It's a jelly candy kind of thing. I probably should have grabbed like a pair of scissors or something because I don't think the seal on this one was as good as it could have been. Yeah. Oh, it opened better than I thought it would, but because I probably should have shot that before I ripped the bag, but there are two donuts, two different kinds of sugar loaves, two ice cream candies, this weird bear thing that they didn't have, and I was really disappointed that they didn't have it, and a stuffed sandwich. It literally says sandwich. And hopefully I don't get copyrighted on YouTube when I use this. Yeah, and this one's a little... It's a swirl? Sweet swirl? Like candy swirl, I guess? I kind of thought it looked like one of those little like weird cinnamon swirl bun things that you get at like bakeries. This one is a certified squishy, but it's not crazy. Like, it morphs back to shape really fast and it's kind of firm, so I wasn't expecting it. Oh my god, it actually smells good. I'm not creepy. It actually smells pretty decent. It smells kind of like great cough syrup. Eh, what's this one? Eh, hey, sugar loaf. <laughs> I ended up getting like way more than I intended, honestly. At first I was like, I just need one. And I was like, oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's cute too. <laughs> and I ended up getting all of them. <laughs> I got one of each. And there's two sugar loaves. One is darker and one's lighter. I think I got the lighter one, but it was hard to tell. So, oh, there's a string. String, don't do that. Okay, this one's, compared to this, the other one, this one's, like, firm, and this one just, well, it comes back really nice, though. So. This one also has a weird smell to it. It smells kind of sugary, obviously, because it's a sugar loaf. Wait, I just want to, because I've never had a squishy before, so I'm going to just, wee. Just let my child and me come out. It's okay. I'm probably doing this a little fast, but oh well. This is the stuffed 
sandwich. Sandwich, it's weird. I kind of love the feeling of opening bags. I don't think the paint on these are as good, but oh well. Kind of disappointed with the paint job on this one because it's kind of like just airbrushed on. It's really sad. Oh no, no sesame seeds came off. I feel like I'm gonna spray this one with like something to get these to stay because I'm kind of scared to squish it because like, what if more seeds come off? It squishes really nice though. I like the way it squishes, but I'm gonna just try and gently do this without hopefully getting it stuck to my hands. Yeah, like three more just popped off. Slightly disappointed with this one, but it smells just like the sugar loaf one, just a tiny bit, not as good. I just like I'm hoping these sesame seeds are like kind of like scared now because I'm checking. I'm hoping these aren't like toxic or anything towards my animals because I don't want my animals eating anything that is potentially toxic. This one felt really stiff for a second. I thought there's something still left. Yeah, I wish I could have gotten like one of each, but unfortunately I couldn't. Like I don't care if they're like this, the same color or not, but I got what I could get because so I got these from Walmart surprisingly. Everywhere else I looked online because I haven't wanted one of these for what like since like it was a trend now that the trend's kind of over they're all on sale that is a really weird texture it is like a great texture that shocked me when i picked it up no i got these at walmart on clearance surprisingly they were only like two dollars each <laughs> they're 230 each and then tax so i only spent like ten dollars on the four this one's kind of glossy and it actually has like a rubbery feel to it like it actually felt like frosting and the little sprinkles and sure just little plastic bits actually like have dimension so it's not painted on even the chocolate drizzle has like dimension like if you run your nail over it it catches over the chocolate so this one's like really I like I do love the coloring on some of these suffer sad little hamburger one over there I think out of like these four that I got I think my favorite has to be like how because the sugar loaf is like a true squishy like, these kind of just remind me of those weird little, like, air-filled ones that are really for dog toys, but they put them in daycare. It's just like, they're safe for dogs, they're safe for kids. This is what this bring, brings back memories of. The donut isn't like that. The donut's actually kind of squishy, and I kind of like it. But I just, this all brings back really nice memories of childhood. And then this one's kind of firm, so it kind of dispresses me, so I might just, like, squish him a little more. Use him as padding when I go skating. But, no, the sugar loaf is, like, a true squishy. He's, he's great. And then, like I said, I went to another store. I went to Hot Topic. I probably just like squished something. So now I have two Tokidoki's that are open. And then I have this little guy. I don't know what he is, but he smells good. It's like a koala, like, keychain bear, and I don't know what to do with him. He smells good, though. He smells like vanilla and strawberries and kind of like kiwi, but I don't know. But he's really squishy, but he didn't come in a bag. He didn't have a tag on him. I actually... The lady literally had to go and just like estimate how much it would cost for this guy because there's like 20 or 30 of them just laying around the store with no tags, no box, no bag, zilch. And I was just like, hmm, that's pretty odd. So just saying this for video's sake, if anyone knows what this is, let me know because I really want to stop calling this thing weird, koala, fuzzy, gross ice cream bear. Oh, okay. Ah, he fits perfectly. I put him inside the donut. Oh, he fell now. Never mind, I lied. He doesn't fit perfectly. Okay, bye. I don't like the fact that he's a keychain, though, because the keychain bit's really hard, and I'm so afraid that if it gets snagged on something, it's going to rip him apart. I've seen so many of these with little holes in their heads, and it's like, no! So, quick review of the squishies. I'm going to just move this slightly, and hopefully... You know what? No, nope, I'm not going to do that, because it's going to fall. So, this one's probably, like, my least favorite, but I still kind of like it. I'll probably like add like a little rating system in like the description box or down in the comments on when I like rate these. For paint and everything, it's okay. It's not exactly in the lines, but it's way better than this sad, depressing little hamburger that's... The camera does not do it any favors, but it doesn't look that great. Hold on. Catch, catch the burger, not me. Yeah, it's like yellow right here and it doesn't... It's slightly molded out of shape, but not much. I kind of wish they did a little better. On the top, it looks great. On the side, not so much. Oh, I already, <laughs> I already have glitter from my last project on him. Come off. Okay, you know what? I guess you just get a little pink star glitter on you. Whatever. 
So out of the Walmart ones, these were all two thirty each. This one was four dollars, which kind of freaked me out because it's like the smallest one out of all of these. And I still like him though; he's still pretty cool. Little weird koala bear. So in order from like. Favorite to least favorite, I would say this one's, like, probably my, like, second... It's kind of a tie between Sad Hamburger and Weird Candy Swirl. But, I'm sorry, I just love the sugar loaf. The fact that it's just actually squishy. I kind of wish I got another one, but oh well. The one I wanted was Hamburger Cat. And Hamburger Cat is currently, like, $15 online, and I'm not spending that. And then, quick recap, I got these four in this Neon Star Starter Pack for Tokidoki... Neon Star was like what it was called. Just Neon Star Squad, I think. I'm not getting up because I'm currently enclosed. I have my drawers all open right here, so I'm kind of blocked in. And then back there's my bed frame, so. I wasn't, like, at all kind of disappointed with these. These are pretty great. There's, like, a little scuff on Havana and on Celeste. I was mildly disappointed with... The horn being the same color as the hair, and this one little white eye spot right here. But other than that, it wasn't no big deal, so. It wasn't a crazy big deal for me. Ah, stop falling over. And then, I'm not sure if I want to open. Okay, this is my first time reading one of these, so I'm going to just skim this real quick. The unicornos were once simple little ponies that were out trotting and wandering into a magic waterfall. Passing through the waterfall, the ponies transformed into unicorns and found a hidden magical kingdom. The unicornos live between the magic kingdom and our world. This is collectible art, not a toy in red. This one is series six and this one's series five, so I'm going to open. Ooh, didn't mean to grip the box, but you can see there's a little bulb, like little bulgeage, bulgeage, bulge on the side of the box. <laughs> Which kind of worries me. And this one doesn't have any, like, on the side of this one, it shows, like, who's, like, what you can get. And on this one, it doesn't show anything. So I'm going to just... So I have no idea what I'm getting because I don't follow Tokidoki that much. Because, unfortunately, they didn't come to my area until, like, about Christmas time. And before that, I was just, like, not even going to get my hopes up of trying to get one. And these boxes are just... No offense, but come on, guys. I get it's, like, collectible, but it's not opening, so I'm going to probably, like, destroy this sad little box, but oh well. Ah, yes. It's in a blind bag, too. I love when you just have them in a blind bag, because at Walmart and other places, they always, like, rip open the bag and let the box look inside and go, oh, that's who it is. But this guy, I have no idea what it is, because, like I said, I've never seen it. Oh, they have a little nice little pull tab. How great is that? Oh my gosh, you are precious. <laughs> it's a little dragon. How sweet. The little spikes. He's got a little mouth and a little tail. I have no idea who he is and what his name is, but it's cute. I kind of wished it came with like a anything to tell me like who it is or whatever, but apparently not. So I'll figure out his name later. Yeah, his name. I had to check the eyelashes. And he has this little Tokidoki mark. I'm sorry, just this little mo mohawk here is just, like, the cutest. Kind of, like, reminds me of, like, all the people that ship um, Twilight and Spike on My Little Pony. That kind of reminds me of, like, maybe that's what their child would look like. It's some weird dragon pony. And all of these are cute, so I would be completely okay with getting any of them. The popcorn one's a little weird, but if I could just get the backs open. Oh, yeah, this one has series six and shows everybody, even though <laughs> even though it's already on the box, but they didn't do that on this one, so it's like, okay. No judging, can't judge, can't hate. I don't know, I'm... I kind of didn't look over these because I knew there wasn't a chance of me getting them at the time, so I didn't really, like, care to look and be like, oh, that one's cute, because it would just get my hopes up of maybe getting one, so. I don't, oh my gosh, this one is the cutest. This one is Summer, it's the little summertime one, she has a little summer lollipop on her head, mismatched hooves. This one's just so cute. She's like clear. 
I am not disappointed at all. Normally I'm like rather disappointed when I open blind boxes, but this one's really cute. <laughs> Like I said, though, earlier before anybody joined, I was expecting these to be quite a bit larger. They're not a lot larger, but they are. there's a pretty good size difference there. Pretty good size difference. Like about one and a half inch tall, maybe two, maybe almost two and a half inches taller. These are so cute, though. It's like, these like, I live in Arizona, so we have a lot of like little pops that look like this. These have these bullet pops, and they, this reminds me so much of a bullet pop. It's so cute. <laughs> She has little yellow blushes, and then I kind of like, normally I don't like seeing the plastic, like, inside her head. You can see, like, kind of, like, what looks like ice crystals in it, but I kind of like it because it makes her look, like, a little bit more frozen. Like, she was frozen in, like, a little mold for ice cream. She has a little sun on her side. These are not half bad. I'm not disappointed at all, honestly. If I had another, um, God, what's it called? Another, like any kind of device to search things up on right now, I probably would Google, like, what this guy is, or maybe I can find him on the box somewhere, but... It doesn't look like him on the box. It has... It sort of looks like him, except for they're, like, completely different shades of green. Like, this is, like, a neon yellow green. I'm not sure if that... And then on the box, he's, like, kind of, like, a dark green, almost like the color of my wall, but a few shades lighter. I'm not at all disappointed. I just I love that little face. This one's so cute. I was told that I should make like pull a delightful and be all like, let's make my oh no, I knocked you over, I'm sorry. Be like, oh hey look, here's like a whole bunch of vermicornos. I should make them into people. And I'm just now I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is gonna be tough. Cause one, I've never done a male doll. And two, how am I supposed to make this into a doll? Oh my gosh. I'm I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. Don't, don't fall over. So I'm probably going to save this and then set, set it up on um, YouTube for other people to watch. I'll probably leave this up for 24 hours on Instagram just so other people can watch. Because I knew some people were rather excited, but... Oh, this is a thing from the owner of Tokidoki. It was apparently from Rome, Italy. My friends all make jokes that I should have been born in Japan, apparently. No, I'm pretty happy, because when I opened these, there was no, like... All it said on the side was like, Oh, Tokidoki! Tokidoki means sometimes in Japanese, and... It just kind of, like, went on a little spiel, and then that was it. It didn't say anything about Neon Star, it didn't say anything about anything else, and that was it. So, I got these guys for... I got Series 5 for $8 at Hot Topic, and Series... Six for I think it was nine eighty five. That's how much I paid for those. For this little guy, I paid four fifty. And for everybody else, I paid two thirty and then two thirty for everything else that came from Walmart. This little Walmart stack here. These are not horrible. I'm considering maybe just like taking one of them everywhere with me as a stress ball. Not this guy though, because this guy's cute and I like him. I like his little face. <laughs> So with that, I'm probably going to end this and then go and talk to my friend about maybe doing another live stream sometime soon because I have one swap doll, two or, yeah, two other dolls that I need to do that aren't exactly, like, I'm kind of selling them. And then I have a commission doll that my friend and I are working on together that's coming in. So if anyone wants to watch that, just let me know or whatever. I'll probably just say this just for the sake of putting this on YouTube. My Instagram account is fancies by jewels with underscores and set spaces. So yay! I will see everybody around. I hope and feel free to private message me anytime because I am a lonely person and I don't have friends. So thank you for joining the one person that did join and hopefully other people will watch later on. And for those that wanted, I'm posting on YouTube. So hey.